Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and add some styling. Styling means we're gonna add some uh, colors to the background, or let's say we've changed the text color and all that. So that is done through the custom style sheets, which is also called as CSS. So let's say we have this particular component called Hello World uh, Star dot this one, and uh, let's say we go ahead and create another component here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and create a new lightning component. Okay, so we'll go ahead and say file new new lightning component. We can name it as uh, Hello Deepika. This is my this is my component here, and we'll go ahead and hit save. So in this particular component, let's say we have a couple of headings here. So we can go ahead and say H1 Hello Deepika. This is my this is the first heading that I have and let's say I am creating a division which is also like an HTML tag and uh, this is my division and in this particular division I have different different elements here so I have subdivision so it will say I am red then you have another division here which says I am blue and then let's say we have a third division so let's say we have third uh, thing here and we call it as I am green. So this is the three different subdivisions I have inside of this. Now let's go ahead and create an application which let's say we already have this application called hello and in this application I'm calling this particular component. So we'll go back to this application and instead of hello world let's go ahead and cal call hello Deepika. This is the component that I'm calling inside of this application and we'll go ahead and hit the preview here. So when you go there, it, it just displays, hello Deepika, I'm red, I'm blue, and I'm green. Let's say now I wanted to add some coloring here. So to do some color or to add something like that, there is a place called style under this. If you look at the right hand side, this is a place called styling here. So click on that style here and you can add any kind of style. Now let's say in this particular one, I in this particular one, let's say I add a background color. So if you wanted to add some uh, color to it, so you have a background color that you can add, which is, let's say, yellow. So this is the background color of the page should be this one. If you wanted to add some padding, padding means like if you wanted to add some space in between, you can add, let's say, 10 pixel is the space that I'm using. Similarly, you can also do multiple. Let's say there is an header tag, right, H1. This In this particular component, you have an H1. And let's say you wanted to style this one. So to do that, you can just say H1 dot this. So style according to this. So we're going to go ahead and use H1 dot this one. And let's say the font size, instead of the default H1, whatever the, I wanted to make it a little big and I wanted to use 60 pixels for the font size. Similarly, if you have, let's say, for a particular class, let's say, and this H1, let's say this is another one, and the font weight that I wanted to put, so this is another, so basically you can add all of this here itself, so you can say font weight, including in this one, or we can create this another uh, H1 here, and we can define some more properties in this one, so let's say the font weight, and I wanted to make it bold. So use the colon and you say bold here. And you want to add the padding as well. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Another padding. Let's say 10 pixels. So we are just defining our uh, style sheets right now. And uh, now there's another one that I wanted to use. Let's say this. Let's say I have created another one for the red. Okay, this is the class that I have and there is a class called red here and in this particular class, I want you to give some space here. This particular red class, the color should be red. So the background color would be red here. So what I've done here is the, I've created a class here and the color would be red. Similarly, let me go ahead and create more colors here. Let's say we're going to go ahead and add a green color as well for a different class. So let's say instead of red, there is another class that I'm creating which is for let's say blue and the background color would be blue here let's say I go ahead and create another one and this is called as the green one and the background color here will be green so what I've done here in my style sheets 
is I have created a like the generic one is background color is yellow so this is the style sheet that I've used for the header tag the font size would be 60 pixel for basically for this one h1 it would be 60 pixel is the font size means the size of the font and then the font weight it will be in bold and the padding will be 10 pixel and similarly what I've done is I have defined three classes here red blue and green so you can see that the element is defined like this h1 dot and if you want to define a class you basically use dot red dot blue let's say this is the class now still if I have I haven't done anything let's say if I go back and run my app again so this is my app what was the name of the app this is the hello world app that we have let's say okay hello 2 app was the name of my app okay so let me go back and go to the hello 2 app since we have a lot of things open and this is the one that I'm calling so let's go ahead and update it we have just created the style sheet but okay so the background color has changed hello Deepika I'm red I'm green. so what about these I want let's say I wanted to make this text appear red red in color I wanted to make this text appear blue and I wanted to make this text appear green so you have already defined the classes in your CSS so if you have, you have already defined the uh, classes in the CSS so what you need to do here is you need to just go ahead and use those classes inside here so you there is a class called red that you have defined so I'm going to save this division should use this particular class so you will go ahead and define it as the red this class is basically for blue and let's say this is for green so where are these classes defined these classes are defined in my CSS so there's a red class there's a blue class and there is a green class so this has been defined here now if I go back to my hello.2 app and if I go ahead and update now you will see that okay this appears in red this appears in blue and this appears in green now if you wanted to increase or if you wanted to change the font size what you have to do here is you just go back to your CSS and you define the the font size to be 60 pixel let's say if you wanted to make it 30 pixel let's say for the red class I wanted to add another property would call font size and let's say make it as 30 pixel and then let's go ahead and go to our app again and just go ahead and say update preview so now you will see that the red color this particular one is bigger than these two so you can always go ahead and change it if you want you what you have to do you have to change these style sheets now let's say there is instead of this particular CSS instead of this particular CSS that you have defined let's say I wanted to use an existing CSS so uh, you can go ahead and download that CSS you can go ahead and download it from any particular resource let's say there is a there is a style sheet available called bootstrap okay so that is a there's an external resource that let's say you wanted to upload that's external static resource so let's say there is a I have already downloaded a style sheet under my downloads folder and uh, let's say this is the this is the particular bound bootstrap one and this has a lot of uh, CSS in it okay so these are the different different style sheets that I have now let's say I wanted to go ahead and use the style sheets from this folder so what will I do that uh, what will I do it so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go to my setup so I'll go back here and I'll go to my login screen here and under the setup I'll go for a look for static resources so here I'll go ahead and look for static resources and then I will add that new resource so and I will go ahead and go to this particular folder here so let's say the choose file would be in the downloads folder I have and this is the particular file that I wanted to go ahead and download so let's go ahead and say this is the CSS file so let's say I wanted to go ahead and download this one bootstrap one so I have uploaded this particular one and I wanted to use this file as my style sheet provider so static resource so I'll go ahead and you can name it as whatever you want you can call it as just bootstrap here and it's private and hit the save button so now this particular file if you wanted to use in your application in here then what you have to do here is you can use this with this particular something like this so if you wanted to use that particular style sheet you in your component or in your application you just have to say something like lightning LT the short form is LTNG okay there is a tag available called require and you have to provide the 
resource like where is this particular present like basically the path of that file and then the name of the file so let's say my name of the file was bootstrap so I just go ahead and use this particular name here and then this is the the particular tag that would basically tells you that okay use this file as my CSS and now if let's say you wanted to go ahead and uh, there, in that particular CSS file there is a class defined and the name of the class is let's say my bootstrap so if you go ahead and open that particular um, CSS file you will see there is a class defined called my bootstrap and uh, you can go ahead and use that particular class to basically let's say if I say hello so this might look a little different so basically this is based for the function and uh, which is basically nothing but the it the it, the definition of this particular class is defined in this resource require I think missed the tag here here I will say styles so the styles is present under this particular file this is the L, lightning is a short form required there is a tag available under this namespace means in this under this and the file name that I want I'm using is this file which is present bootstrap and which we have just uploaded by going to the static content and there is a class available in this file called my bootstrap and this is what I'm just displaying so now if I go back to my app if I go back to my app and then I just go ahead and say update preview there's a hello and that looks a little basically different or they, whatever the whatever the definition has been provided in that bootstrap that's what the CSS file is coming from so if you want to use any external style, style sheet the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and upload under the static resource and whatever the name you are providing here you need to go ahead and define that under your component or under your application that particular class or whatever here you have to specify that I'm using this particular file let's say you're uploading another there's another style sheet that you are using so you just name it differently and then you can point it to that particular file and then you can use the classes defined or whatever the style you wanted to use from that CSS.